So again, we're at 15 Mile Road in the ITC corridor. We're at a big sewer project, our biggest project that we have going on right now, $37 million, which by the way, you're not gonna have a rate increase because we've gotten a lot of uh, infrastructure money and uh, American Rescue Plan money uh, to pay for this, but it's critical infrastructure work that has to happen for generations, quite frankly. So as we've cleaned this pipe and taken all the sedimentation out of it, as we've grouted when we've seen different fissures in the pipes, etc., to really ensure the integrity of the pipe, the last thing that has to happen is we slip line it with something called HOBAS, H-O-B-A-S, which is actually an American-made product. And by the way, everything on this site is American-made. We don't have Chinese steel. I'm sorry, we don't buy it, okay? We buy all U.S. products. And this product is actually made in Texas. It's a specialty project, product that most of the uh, projects around the country, many of them, do use this product. <clears throat> it's impervious. I don't know what the life expectancy is, but a long time, you know, I've heard people say 100 years, 200 years. I don't know how long, but a very long time. Much better than the, all, uh, the old concrete pipes, right? That is what everybody used back in the day, but that's what's there currently. We're going to be slip lining it with this Hobos pipe. And right on our site here in the corridor right now, we've been taking delivery of our pipe. We have, I think, uh, almost 300 pieces. We call it sticks, right? They're 20 foot long sticks of this pipe. And we're going to actually slip line about 7,000 feet. So we've got about another 50 of these to come yet that are going to come on the site. And I'm going to take you now, and again, I'm joined by Commissioner Don Van Sickle, who's the county commissioner for most of Sterling Heights, a big section of Sterling Heights, right here where we are right now. <clears throat> and the uh, Macomb County is uh, totally on board with our fixing our critical infrastructure. They have been very, very helpful. You want to add anything before we go to the pipe? No more sinkholes, and it's amazing what the <laughs> underground sewerage that goes through these cement pipes does to the cement pipe. Uh, I, I was just shocked when I found out what happens to cement. And uh, it's absolutely necessary to line it with something, Hoboth or something else as you've done in some of the smaller interceptors. But right. uh, we need to do maintenance on the underground infrastructure. Out of sight, out of mind doesn't work here because pretty soon you'll have a hole in the ground and uh, we don't want that anymore. Not only do we not want a sinkhole on 15 Mile Road again, you and I have talked, we don't need a sinkhole in the ITC corridor where one of these <coughs> transmission lines could fall into a sinkhole. You can, let me tell you what, in very technical terms, that is bad, okay? Very bad. So we don't, we certainly don't want that. And right at the corridor here is where <coughs> the Macomb interceptor comes in. It's sort of a nexus for the Macomb and Oakland County comes in here. So, and then it runs all, all the way down to Detroit uh, to a pump station by, you know, State Fair, if you're familiar with that old area there. Uh, and we are completely rehabilitating that particular pump station as well. That station, even though it's in Detroit, handles all of Macomb and are in the portion of Oakland uh, that runs through the ITC corridor here. So it's sort of an interesting schematic. Yeah, problem here would not be like a tree falling on the line in a neighborhood where a couple houses get knocked out of power. You take down these towers, you wouldn't have tens of thousands. You'd have hundreds of thousands of people without power. And we're not talking a day or two to fix. We're talking months to fix. So right. that would be a huge Southeast Michigan tragedy. Commissioner Van Sickle was an electrical engineer before he ran for county commission. So he knows what he's talking about. Now we're going to take you down and show you what uh, the inside of the whole boss pipe looks like. Here you can see this is all fiberglass. It's like a poly polymer that you, the polymer fiberglass type of material. And uh, this section here, of course, when you put the sleeves in, then you have to, you know, you sort of put them together and then you have to grout them all in place. And uh, obviously we inspect every single stick when it comes here. It's, it's inspected by Hobos, of course, before they ship it. But then it's inspected by our guys and we're careful with how it's set so that we don't have any issue with the integrity of this thing. But it's an amazing piece of uh, product that's gonna be slip lined into our sewer interceptor. And so those of you that are watching this, it's gonna handle your sewage, but it's gonna handle your children's, your grandchildren's, and your great-grandchildren, and who knows how long. Hopefully it lasts all that time. 
anyway, it's, uh, it's really an interesting uh, product, as I say. So thanks for joining us.